Oh, please don't do that. It's not fun. Perfection. Okay, everyone, uh, we are ready to begin. So thank you all for taking the time today. We appreciate the opportunity to connect with you. Uh, my name is Josh Waterquin. I am the Senior Director of Sales, the Americas for Small Luxury Hotels of the World based in San Diego, California. My team consists of Julie Owens based in New York City, Lena Marino based in Boca Raton, Florida, Vanessa Johnson based in Houston, Texas, and Dominic Laddit based in Brazil and covers our South American market. If there's anything my team or I can do to assist, please do not hesitate to reach out to any of us at any time. I'd like to highlight the upcoming webinars we have scheduled for the next several weeks. Our goal is to bring you up-to-date information from our uh, properties in a focused manner. Should you have suggestions for a topic or if there's a particular region of the world you're most interested in, I'd love to hear from you. Please email me directly. And if you enjoyed the webinar today, I encourage you to visit our webinar landing page for the latest list of webinars and registration links. We'll continue to add new webinars as more of our hotels begin to reopen, so please do check back regularly. We have just launched our brand new SLH website and the Travel Agent Portal is on its way, which will feature a great variety of services for our travel trade community. Uh, in the meantime, you may visit slh.com to book our hotels for your clients. You choose a hotel or destination, insert the travel date, once you click search and book now, you can enter your IATA number or your SLH ID into the field travel industry ID, and you can proceed with the booking. Uh, we also offer a dedicated platform to assist with commission payment issues. Uh, and then for general matters, you can always uh, reach out to agents at slh.com, or of course, um, you can always email me directly. So uh, for those of you that aren't familiar, SLH's GDS access code is LX. And if not already doing so, I'd like to encourage you to utilize our VIP desk. This team is spread across the globe, uh, speaking uh, nine different languages collectively. And as you can see, this team can obtain quotes, make reservations, handle VIP requests, and much more. Now, before we begin, if not presenting, please ensure your phone or computer is muted to avoid any background noise. Agents, for any questions you have for myself or the SLH hoteliers presenting today, please type those into the chat box. I will uh, ensure each question is answered before the end of the webinar. Please note, your, your time is, is uh, extremely valuable to me. And as such, each presenter has been given an opportunity to practice before today's webinar. In the unlikely event of technical difficulty, a follow-up will be sent for any uh, missed property information. And most importantly, I'm sure we keep things moving along. So uh, with that, I'm pleased to introduce you to our 22nd webinar, Mediterranean Must Sees. And a quick plug, if you enjoyed today's call, please join us tomorrow for French Collections featuring two of our SLH hoteliers representing uh, six uh, properties, uh, six SLH properties um, in total. So today we have Mediterranean Massies. Um, we have Maria, who's going to pre uh, present Bohemian Mykonos, uh, Serena, who's going to present El Melagrano and La Persea. Did I say it right? My accent's terrible. Capricot with Samuel Alvarez and Atala Villabros with Caroline. And so with that, I would like to ask uh, Maria to unmute herself. Hello, Kalispera. Hello, everybody. I'm Maria, member of the BOEM team. And I'm happy to present to you today BOEM, which is located in Mykonos Island in Greece. And since it's 9 p.m. here, I'm happy to drink this glass of wine with you. Cheers. <laughs> so. Uh, we all know that a five-star hotel is about excellence, but what BOEM is all about? Well, BOEM is about excellence, of course, while at the same time, it combines a Meconian authenticity. It is simple and it's elegant. Now, the architecture of BOEM is based on the traditional Meconian style, and our services are provided in an open-air environment. All of our common areas have no walls, the reception, the bar, restaurant, pool and gym, even the massage treatments are made in an open air construction. The hotel uh, is, built, uh, is built, sorry, amphitheatrically on a hill and it overlooks the sunset and the Aegean Sea and some nearby islands. So you can imagine the romantic feeling it gives. So all of our suites and facilities have sea and sunset view. Some of our suites accommodate an outdoor hot tub our price range uh, is from around 300 euros per night to 1700 euros per night. 
and all reservations include American a la carte breakfast. From time to time, we make offers through the SLH, so please stay tuned. <laughs> Boema, I can tell you, is uh, an ideal destination for those who want to relax because the location is really close to the center of Mykonos town, but it's kind of hidden, so you can never really feel that it's a high season. Uh, Boema is quiet and private. That means that uh, we don't accept the visitors so that we can actually guarantee that guests will relax. We're also proud to know that on a dry island, because Mykonos is considered a dry island, we have a lemon trees and herb garden where our guests can go and collect the herbs of their choice and give them to our bartender to create a tailor-made cocktail. Now, as you can understand yourself, uh, the main point of Bohem is every kind of service to be personalized. We consider all of our guests to be different and unique, and that's uh, why we believe that uh, focusing on the differences between people is our recipe to success. Now, lastly, some of the measures that the hotel took in relation to the coronavirus is that, of course, all the common areas are being sanitized very frequently. Uh, all rooms are sterilized with uh, some very top quality cleaning products like Pure, Sp Pure Space or Diversi. Uh, I can tell you that the room is as sanitized as a surgery when we give it for check-in. And all the personnel has attended training courses. All of our guests are informed before their check-in about the health and safety protocol. And you can find more details in our dedicated uh, web page of the hotel. Now, in terms of reservations, uh, for this year, I can tell you that the cancellation policy is much more flexible. And even if a guest cancels, we do give him an 18 month credit so that he does not lose his deposit. Now, I'd like to share with you a short video that shows how the property and the surroundings look like. Okay. Sorry. Now, Maria, while we watch the video, are you walkable to Mykonos town? Like time and yes. hills downhill? It's five minutes walk. Downhill to go, uphill to return. <laughs> okay, great. And are you on a busy road or quiet back street? It's uh, the back of the hotel uh, has a road that, the ha that there are cars. So that the guests, when they go outside the hotel, they need to walk through a road that has cars, but uh, it's kind of not really busy. Okay, that's nice to hear. Okay, great, great. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for presenting. Uh, agents, again, if you have any questions, uh, please do uh, type those into the chat box. Serena, if you would go ahead and unmute yourself. And you may show your contact. Can you hear me? Yes. Ma'am. Let me, excellent. Let me just, here we are, perfect. So, buonasera a tutti, or oh, buongiorno uh, per voi, for you. I'm Serena and I represent two uh, nice properties located in Puglia. Uh, just to make sure you know a little bit about Puglia, is um, really the last part of Italy, it's the both of Italy. And um, our properties are located between two, uh, the two main airports, Bari and Brindisi. Just to have an idea, um, properties are equidistant for the airports. So uh, the first property is uh, Il Melograno, and it's just 15 minutes by car from uh, Bari or Brindisi airports. And La Peschiera, it's uh, 45 minutes from Brindisi and just 60 minutes by car from Bari. So more or less the distance is the same. So let me start from um, Il Melograno. Il Melograno is uh, the first picture on your left. It's uh, an authentic masseria. 
and La Peschiera is a fishing bourbon reserve located by the sea. So um, you will see better. Uh, we are lucky because we have um, two luxury hotels, but one completely different to the other. So I will start from La Peschiera. It's a boutique hotel with uh, just 13 rooms. And um, the plus is that it's completely located by the sea. So you can jump directly from uh, your room in the Adriatic Sea. And uh, all rooms have uh, two patios, one facing the pool and one facing the sea. And um, for, in total, we have 13 rooms. We accept children just up to 10 years. And in total, we can accommodate 26 guests. So for just 26 guests, we share a private beach club and six pools. So you can imagine that it's a COVID-free property. So we have, of course, the protocols and um, we guarantee a safety uh, vacation, even if we have, do not, we have applied any kind of specific uh, um, protocol, just because we have um, a lot of distance between uh, one guest and the other one. Each guest have a private breakfast in their patio. So normally, not just during, during after coronavirus. And then again, for 26 guests, we have six pools. So we have any kind of problem. Then Il Melograno um, is located in Monopoly. That is uh, one of the main attractions of the Itria Valley and uh, really was the first fortified ma masseria converted into a luxury hotel. So we, we are speaking about 25 years ago when was no business and no tourism at all in Puglia. So it was really the first masseria. We have 41 rooms and um, of course the rest, two restaurants, a spa of 1,000 square meters, tennis courts, paddle, indoor and out, outdoor uh, pool, and then also helipad um, private area. And you will see from pictures that we have uh, typical Apulian and Mediterranean vegetation, uh, like, you know, bougainville, pomegranate, citrus, uh, orange garden, lemon garden. And it's a very classical, but in the same, in the same time, contemporary style. And for Il Melograno guests, we have also a, a private beach club of 4,000 square meters where also uh, it's a normal like, COVID-free uh, beach club because from one umbrella to the other one, we have normally more than three meters distance. So you have privacy and distance enough and uh, every day, not just this summer. And um, considering that we have two hotels, we can offer to our guests, but also external guests, a, a range of several restaurants. Um, il uh, Sale Blue restaurant, as you can see, is a restaurant of La Peschiera, completely by the sea. We normally call Piedanlo because when you have, uh, you can enjoy a cocktail or a, um, a fish dish just with your uh, foot than, uh, in the water. So it's uh, really amazing. And then we have Il Melograno restaurant and Tamerici Beach Club, so guests can stay one day in one hotel and the other one change location. So we, we offer a um, different kind of kitchen because at Sally Blue we have a fish restaurant and on the contrary at Il Melograno we have more land product. Serena? Yes. Uh, is there signing privileges um, at with the dining between the two hotels? Uh, sorry, we? Are, are there signing privileges, meaning um, can yes, can the resort? They can share, you know, uh, again, all facilities. Also, Il La Peschiera guest can use uh, the spa of Il Melograno, paddle and tennis court. So we and we offer shuttle service uh, also to reach uh, one property to the, uh, or the other one. Then, okay. Uh, and so if they're yes. if they're staying at one hotel and they go to the spa of the other hotel, they can just charge it back to their room. Yes. No, 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 it's a free of charge and it's just 10 minutes by car from one property to the other one. The only okay. difference is that La Peschiera is on the Adriatic Sea and Il Melograno is in the countryside. And that's it. And also we offer both property for buyouts, for destination wedding and private events. So you can take on exclusive use all properties. 
and inside the, the um, uh, both property we, we have also a DMC called the Talea DMC so we organize each all kind of activities like uh, uh, vintage car tours, catamarano trip, Africa Lassino tour, horse riding, Pizzica lesson, fishing day. So everything can be arranged directly with us. So just to have an idea, also it's a ceramic lesson. <laughs> but it's funny because you can organize also with, you know, with your family and with the uh, local artisans. And then it's a nice... Uh, an amazing trip in Polignano, Domenico Modugno. <laughs> Polignano, just to have an idea, it's just 10 minutes as well from our properties. And uh, we are lucky because really we are in the middle of Itra Valley. So we have Polignano, Alberobello. Cisternino, Locortondo, that are main attraction, Ostuni, the White City. So in 10, 15 minutes, you can really can visit uh, all uh, the amazing attraction. And this is just a small video of La Peschiera and Il Melograno with uh, very famous Italian actors. They uh, moved because they, there was the last film, the last moved in, uh, it was the setup of our properties. <laughs> Serena, um, are DMC services offered regardless if clients stay at one of your properties? No, we offer a DMC facility also to external guests. Yes, to other hotels as well. So, and I should actually I should know this off the top of my head, but I do not. Forgive me. Um, are your properties uh, part of Virtuoso? We are no. Unfortunately, we are not Virtuoso, but uh, we are part. We offer in any case a Virtuoso amenities. So even if we are not, but just because in the area there is another Virtuoso property, but in any case, we work a lot with the Virtuoso agency and we offer uh, amenities also to ensemble, signature, uh, F, um, platinum, so. And uh, you're part of Within as well? Yes, correct. And this is a small video just to see, you know, the location. <laughs> Excellent. Any kind of help, we are ready to welcome you and uh, we are always at your disposal for any kind of help. Excellent. And Serena, um, do your rates include breakfast? So yes, we uh, our rate includes breakfast. Normally, in Melograno rates, the entry level uh, room type in low season starts from 200 euro until 400 euro and suite starts from 400 euro until 800 euro per night, buffet breakfast included. And in La Peschiera, we have uh, entry level room starting from 500 euro until 900 euro per night in night season. And the panorama suites from 1,400 euro per night until 1,800. Just to have a, a, an idea. <laughs> Thank you so much, Serena. I really appreciate it. Um, thank, thank you for taking the time. Uh, agents, again, if you have any additional questions, please type those in. Um, Serena, for now, I'm going to mute you. Uh, and Samuel, I have just unmuted you and you may share your content, sir. Wonderful. Um, um, oh, wonderful, yes. Maybe. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, greetings from Spain. This is Sam. Possibly some of you already know me. I've been traveling with SLH for many years. Uh, so uh, we are traveling to Mallorca now, is where we are based with Caprocat. Caprocat, um, as you can see in the map, there's a red circle around um, uh, the name Cap and the Rocat. We are um, a fortress from the 19th century, which is um, carved inside the rock uh, inside this cave. So the property is 10 minutes away from the airport and 20 minutes away from Palma. And this is just a general overview for those of you who are not familiar with the, with the island, beautiful beaches, a very, very nice old town, and there's a, a spectacular mountain range on the north of the island. This photo is iconic, so it may be familiar uh, to some of you. This is the, very, the entrance of, of the um, property. Um, as you can see, um, and I told you uh, right now, it's carved inside the rock. Um, we are in a nature park. It has um, 30 hectares of uh, protected um, area and two kilometers coast with a direct access to the sea. 
Um, the property has 30 rooms only. So these tiny squares that you can see uh, doing um, half a circle are the bungalows, which um, used to be the former shooting pads. Now inside there we have the, um, the suites. Um, we keep um, exploring the property. Now we are in the very heart of the hotel, which is the patio. Um, with a beautiful fountain. It feels very Moorish, so the whole concept of Caprocat is that you really feel in another world. It feels very Mediterranean, um, a mix of um, all the different spots that we, can, that we can see in the Mediterranean and in Spain. The common areas are very um, nice and elegant, and we're going now to the rooms. Um, please keep in mind that it's a really, really big property, but we only have 30 rooms. We have um, up to 160 employees in high season, and we move around the property with golf cars. So um, in these photos, you can see how the bungalows look like between each bungalow. Um, we have terraces. On the right-hand side, you can see how the terraces look like. So this arch would be the entrance to your room, and each room has three um, private terraces uh, for the guests. So on the ground floor terrace is where we serve, serve breakfast. Um, in the rooms. On the second level, you have the sun beds, and on top, you have the day beds with these amazing views. Um, this is how we serve breakfast in a huge picnic basket. Um, it's very much like a, like a brunch for yourself. Um, so nothing to worry about. Um, then nobody will be hungry. This is how the coastline looks like with these amazingly turquoise waters. And these two little casitas that you see now are our signature suites called the Suites Del Mar. Um, they feel like small villas. Um, they have their own private garden with their um, infinity pools. And remember that we were carved inside the rock in the Cape. So we have three very spectacular rooms at the cliff edge. We call them the Sentinels. So these rooms uh, were man-made caves with cannons to protect the, the Bay of Palma just in case um, the island could be attacked. And they have been transformed now into three um, very special rooms. What you can see at the right-hand side, this, this line, is the former trench. So we have to take a small golf cart and go through it to get to the rooms. Um, on the right-hand side, you will see that the bed is uh, right in the center of the room. Um, on the sides, you can see the rock of, of the caves. And down, you will see the nice plunge pools that we have right at the cliff edge. And it feels very much like you are suspended in the horizon when you're floating in your pool. The, the views uh, of the waters, as you can see, are really impressive also. Um, sunsets are amazing. As you can imagine, those of our guests who are staying in the Sentinels usually live on uh, room service most of the time. <laughs> And uh, we have two um, nice restaurants. Um, we have the C Club restaurant. Oh, okay. Can you hear me well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, we lost uh, sound for just a second. But also, uh, a question came through um, Are you family friendly? Uh, we so have had two two romantic. children from 14 years up. 14 and up. Great, great. Exactly. Uh, we have two restaurants, as I was saying, the Sea Club restaurant, casual Mediterranean food, really beautiful by the sea. And then at the highest point of the, of the fortress, we have the fine dining restaurant called La Fortaleza, which means the fortress. Um, this is the access that we have to the sea. This is also very unique. Um, so you go down to, to the sea through this ladder. It's very much like a natural pool. And on this rocky platform that you also see on the left-hand side is where we have all the sun beds. Every year we have to put sun there because the wind is blowing it away. Also, we have um, a big pool. And I have to say that six of our rooms have their own private pools also. Finally, well, let's go to the spa. This is something we're really proud of. We were um, awarded as the best SLH spa um, in the last SLH awards. So um, it was a very, very nice surprise. Um, it's very impressive. Again, carved inside the, inside the rocks. But sorry, let me go back again. You have this glass ceiling. So um, during the daytime, you get this golden light. And at night, you can uh, see the, the stars and the moon. Um, and the toy that we bought last year for your, for your client it's a speed boat, so you can explore the island um, and all the beautiful coves and beaches. 
So this is everything. We're open from uh, mid-March to mid-November, and our rates are between 450 euros per room per night, including breakfast, up to 2,500 euros. Excellent. Thank you so much. Uh, agents, any other questions for Samuel? Just type those in. Um, actually, what is your high season, Samuel? Okay. Uh, usually, um, it would be mid-May until, I would say, mid-September. The, the season, the, the high season in the Mediterranean, at least for us in the Balearic Islands, has been kind of extended. So, I tend to say that May is like the new June. So, that, that's uh, when rates are starting to go up. And that fabulous accommodation that's uh, that built into the cave, how many of those do you have? We have three of those. Three. Okay, great. And and what is the rate on that? The rates are starting at, at 850 uh, okay. to 2,500. Wow. Definitely worth it. It's a unique experience. Yes. All right. Thank you so much, Samuel. Um, I'm going to mute you now. And uh, Caroline, if you would, go ahead and unmute yourself and share your content. There we go. And Caroline, I don't know which user you are to unmute yourself, so you'll need to find your unmute button. If you're calling through. Is Caroline? Can you yeah, can you hear okay, me? Perfect. Yeah, I, I you know, I can't, I, I couldn't see your name, so I wasn't sure. So, yes, you can begin. Okay, great. So, hi, everyone. I'm sorry, my camera doesn't work. I'm Caroline from uh, South of France, and I'll be showing you a bit of our hotel if this is working. Here we go. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Villa Belle Rose. It's located uh, five minutes away from Saint Tropez. Um, as you can see, we do have a terrible location with a terrible view. Um, it's only like five minutes, so we do have a complimentary shuttle service that goes to the beach or to the city center, so it's pretty convenient for your client if um, they want to go out of the hotel. Um, this is the full picture of the property. It's a 40-bedroom 40 property. Um, so as you can see, can you see if I move my um, mouse? Can you see it? Yeah, okay. We can. Um, yes. Okay, great. Um, so over here, um, those two levels, it's where you're gonna find the largest room, and as more as you're gonna go up to the main building over here, the rooms tend to be a bit smaller, but they will get larger terrace and full sea view. And the good thing for you and for me, it's getting more expensive, so it's great. Um, we do have two pools right here. Uh, it's going to be two heated pool, um, a spa, a fitness center, and the pool restaurant are located all on the same level. Um, one level up, you will have the restaurant, and one more level up, the bar. So it's not too big. It's like your home away from home, pretty much. AG is requesting you to share the lesson doing it. Yeah, okay, I approve. I don't know what it is, but I approve. Okay. Um, this is the first room category that we do have. It starts at 395 euro. It's inclusive of tax and buffet breakfast. Uh, as I said, those rooms are going to be the largest ones. Let me see. How can I? Oops. I just want to change, but it's not working. Uh, see. I have an annotation, but I don't know what this is. Sorry. Okay, let me go back. Okay, right here. Sorry. Um, so, as I say, pretty large room, very large bathroom. They can be um, communicate. Um, oh my God, I forgot my English. Um, communicate? Yeah, I think it's right. Um, uh, so, right next to each other, perfect for families with like three, four children. There's no problem. Um, as I say, as more you're going to go up, the room tends to be smaller, but they will get like very nice uh, overview of the Bay of St. Tropez. And those rooms, uh, those, those last two rooms will start at uh, 695 euros, always inclusive of tax and buffet breakfast. Um, our large 
suite uh, will have this very large terrace, as you can see over here. Um, so it's a very nice uh, space to be outside, secluded, and quiet environment. Here we go. So one of the restaurant will be um, more uh, gastronomic food with um, a mix between Italian and Mediterranean cuisine and something a bit more casual uh, by the pool, like this. So like truffle pizza and pretty much. I do wanna show you very quick, um, we do have a villa, a private villa uh, to rent over the summer. Usually it's between 15 of July to 15 of August. Um, and it's gonna be a four bedroom villa. Um, with private pool, private garage, um, large uh, living room, open um, kitchen over here. There's gonna be a master bedroom uh, that, uh, and three of the room which have, uh, which they have all their private um, bathrooms. Um, so this is like um, the, um, Oh my God, it's 9 p.m. I've already been drinking wine and I don't know my English anymore. Um, it's this just to give good. you another view. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, and uh, for example, this year, what I have available is only like the first three weeks of August. So it's, it's right next to the hotel uh, and they ha you can have uh, access to all the services of the property and it's available on demand. And as I say, you can be up to nine people. So yeah, it's pretty secluded. Uh, you don't have to mix with other people, especially with this uh, uh, circumstances. And just to be clear with that, we do have a specific program um, to secure our clients and our uh, staff members. And we are open. Uh, until uh, October 31st, so all of October. And usually for next year, we open between mid-April to mid-October. Excellent, thank you. You, thank you. you did excellent, Caroline. I love that you're drinking wine. I, I encourage that behavior. Um, I do have some questions that have come through. Um, yeah. Is English widely spoken by the staff and where does the bulk yeah. of your um, international guests come from? You mean as good as me? No, no, I'm kidding. Yes, of course, they all speak. Well, well same English, guy, yeah. And some of them speak German, but that's not really your. And then where's the majority of your, your, your guests coming from? Uh, the US top market? three would be uh, Germany because we're part of a German group called uh, Out of Collection. And the second would be UK and the third one would be US which this year is very complicated. So we do have lots of French people uh, that are very trustful, with, so which is good. But yeah, the top three would be um, pretty much UK, Germany, and US. Okay, and then um, um, you explained that you're already open currently and you're open until yeah. October, and then you, um, yeah. you're closed for the season, you reopen in mid-March? Mid-April. Mid-April, mid-April. Okay, yeah. great, great. Thank you so much, Caroline. Uh, agents, you. if you have any additional questions for Caroline, please let me know. Um, I'm gonna open this question up to some of the other hotels. Um, they're wanting to know um, English spoken at your properties and if you know of um, any restrictions being placed on your country and whether or not you're open. Samuel, I'm gonna go ahead and unmute you now to answer that. Um, oh, hi, everyone again. Yes, everyone speaks at least English is mandatory. Um, so for us, it's more important to speak proper English than many languages really badly. No, no problem at all with that. And secondly, um, regarding the restrictions, uh, we don't have particular restrictions um, at the moment in terms of movement. Um, well, it's just what we have in Europe that you have to be part of the Schengen area to be able to come in unless uh, one of your clients who would be based um, outside the Schengen area would have a European passport. Um, so that person and, and their family can, can um, enter in the, um, in the European Union. Um, that's, that's very much it. For the rest, Thank you, uh, the, sorry, the situation with the masks, if that's 
possibly a question. Um, we it depends on every region. So basically, it's just when you go inside the shops and you cannot keep the 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 minimum distance between two people, but just to prevent. For the rest, is absolutely normal. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Maria. Let me turn that over to you. Um, Hello. Are you are you uh, give us your open day again? And um, do you know of any restrictions in place that you can share with us? Okay, sure. Uh, Bohem usually opens uh, at the first of April until the end of October. And now, in terms of restrictions, I can tell you the same as Samuel. <laughs> it's really more a thing that is not stable right now. So every country opens slowly, slowly. People from other countries, for example, USA. For now, it's not open for Greece. When it opens, we will know. <laughs> for now, no. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sure you'll do a follow up to everyone here that uh, that you've opened to the US market. Um, and then just real quick, um, does your staff all speak English? Yes, yes, awesome. everybody. Very good, good. Like to know that. All right, awesome. And then Serena, if you would just unmute yourself and let us know. Um, so if you I could just cover again your your uh, reopen dates. Yes, so we're so La Pesquera uh, opened on the 1st of July. And, uh, and and we will close the 4th of October and Il Melograno reopen tomorrow and we will close also at the end of September between September and October it depends uh, from the business and uh, at this stage the only restriction for us unfortunately it's just flight situation because uh, we received we are receiving a lot of cancellation from United States uh, from Australia so I think it's more a, a problem of flights. So, yes. Now, um, is there uh, restrictions in place as far as needing to uh, quarantine? No, it's we just, you know, we, we, we require just at the check-in time uh, guests to sign a, a document, a document just to certificate that they are fine and then we taste just the, the fever and that's it. Excellent, excellent. All right, so I think that that um, that covers the questions that have been asked thus far. Again, agents, if I didn't cover anything, please do let me know. Um, this is the last opportunity. And uh, with that, I would like to say thank you, uh, SLH Hoteliers, for taking the time to prepare and present today. Uh, agents, we really appreciate you um, taking the time out of your day to, to hear about um, our properties. Um, please tune in tomorrow. And thank you for joining today. Have a great day, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Grazie. Ciao. Ciao. Thank you ciao. all. Ciao, ciao. Bye bye. Thanks.